Jed, I, I want to start, um, I know you touched on it last week, but this football club, the, the fan base has grown really a, a lot over the last few years with incentives and all that kind of stuff um, and obviously the success on the pitch. They showed their love for the club, didn't they, at the weekend before the game with, with, with the, um, trying to raise awareness about the situation of the club. What, what would you say to those supporters and what did you think of all that? No, I said after the game the other day, they were fantastic. They, they turned up in their numbers. Obviously, you see how much they love the club. They wanted to go, they wanted to be among correctly, and it's it's down to them. They come every week, so you've got to get behind. They're brilliant. They're brilliant in the game as well, Zaty, for us. Mm, really supportive of you, haven't they? I, I think they've taken to what you've done so far, given the position the the football club now finds itself in, ahead of the running. Yeah, well, they see how, how much we've progressed with the new players coming, and they've all settled in really well. Uh, and they see, <coughs> excuse me, play entertaining football. So. The results are going well, so they got behind us really well. Do you concern yourself at all with, with the off-field issues? Or is your total focus on, on this team and getting into win matches? I can't affect it. Mm. You know what I mean? It's, not, it's, it's way out of my hands, so it's not like I do about it. So I've got to really focus on the football and get the results, what we are doing, and, and get back into the run with the last 10 games. Obviously, a good push to get in the playoffs. So, I, as I say, I can't affect what's going on upstairs. Um, on the pitch, obviously, you, uh, Farron Rawson... He's missing for a few weeks. Max Melbourne now suspended. Um, obviously, you've used your squad a lot in the last few weeks. You've had to. You've brought in the players. That's what a squad's for, isn't it? D does it leave you short at the back a little bit? It does, yeah. yeah but Stokes, he's come in, come in and he's done really He was playing when Faz was playing as well, to be fair. So, but he's, he's, he's took Faz's place and he's doing really, he done really well Saturday. And you've got David come back from suspension. So, it times well with Max. Max has gone out. David's come in. He's another top player. So... We're covered in them areas. We've just got to listen. The lads have done fantastic since I've come here, and they've gone on a great run and showed what a good team they are. And the belief, if they have the belief that we've had in the last few weeks, I'm sure we can go another run. In terms of the long-term injuries, is anyone likely to miss the the rest of the season? Do you think? We don't know. It's one of those. It depends how quickly heal. We don't know. Probably Brandon is probably the longest out with his, his hamstring, but Donald and JJ maybe another three weeks, and, and Stuart Moore another three weeks. So. Getting them all back would be like getting new players into the club. Mm. Um, seven weeks of the season left, Jed. Um, you'll hope that extends into another few weeks, of course. How happy are you with with the position that you're in and, and where you've got to with this group of players? I'm delighted where we've got to, but I, I like winning games. And there's games where, where we look back where we should have won and we'd be further up. But there's games where, where we've been lucky and we've come back and we've won. We've had the luck, so... It's, it's balanced itself out over the season and I'm really happy the way we're going at the minute and the way the lads are um, putting a shift in for us. You've got some resilience, haven't you? Because when you have lost, you, you respond. When you go down in a game, you've come back and won. That alone will stand you in good stead for this um, next few weeks. Definitely, that's the team spirit. It's, it's the lads down. The way, it's, a good, it's a good place to come and work. You, know, you come and have a morning, everyone's happy, everyone's behind each other whether it's the staff, right through all the players, they back each other up, we back them up. So it's great on and off the field. So it's a good place to be at the minute and you've just got to keep it going. And when, you, when you've got places like that where you're happy to be at, you, you perform better and it just shows the results we've had on the pitch. Like Saturday against Wrexham, for the first half an hour, they, they never laid a glove on us. They couldn't get near us. We frustrated them. We passed the ball better than them. We won them up. And then we cre uh, conceded a goal against the run of play, which we could have, we could have dealt with better, but... Then we got a man sent off, and then obviously it was all, all over the bed. Does that atmosphere around the club, that sort of identity around the club, come from you, Jed? You, you, you're, you're the one that's in charge. It comes from everyone. It comes from me, myself, all the staff, all the players, everyone, all of us together. Yeah, and that's what we are. We're like a little family, and we're all back each other up, as you've just said. And we'll keep doing that till, till the very last day. On, on Saturday, you said that the team is a different animal now to the one that faced Wrexham. November at the very beginning of your reign when obviously things were you were sort of you know making sure everything smoothed itself out after the departure of Derek Adams why do you think they're a different different animal now well different players mm. to start uh, obviously I'd only had one day in the job in some manager so I couldn't really put my my stamp on it uh, now it's been what three four months where, where I've tried to get them playing the way I want them to play and they're all on board they're all buying into it and obviously, all new players. We lost the five loan lads, and we got we got five lads, new lads in who've all done really well and and got on board with what we want. And that's why we're a different team. 
How do you get them playing the way you want to do? Is it meetings, training ground routines, in-game management, the discipline of the players, I guess, is, comes into a factor as well. How, how do you get them? Because you seem to have done it very quickly. All of the above, like I said, uh, <laughs> really work hard on the training ground. Uh, let them know what we want from them on the training ground. And now we're going to approach games, as you say, videos, watching videos of teams or how we want to play, going through tactics, all of it. And most of all, the players. Uh, having good experienced players in the change room are all on board with, what, with the ideas that we want. And they are. And they, they pass it on to the younger players then and everyone's together. And I guess you're all excited about what's to come in the running. Do, do you expect the playoff race to go right to the wire? Yeah, I think everyone's beating everyone in this league at the minute. Uh, I'd say 72 points could get in the playoffs. Uh, I've had a look at it. I think we've got 10 games left. I've had a little chat with all the lads, 10 games. I'd say we win six of them. We've got a great chance of getting in the playoffs. So let's see what happens. Give yeah. it our best shot. I don't think too, yeah. That, 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 that looks attainable doesn't it especially with three defeats in, in 13 for you yeah I haven't looked at that to be honest there, but the next 10 games is like a new league for us I think if we could finish in the top top four or five in that league we'd be getting in the playoffs so you never know we've had a great season up to now they've been brilliant since I've been in I'm made up with the way everything's gone and so let's just hope, hope we can finish with it even, even better by getting the playoffs do you feel proud of what you, you've been able to achieve so far I know you haven't achieved anything yet but I, I think from the outside it looks like you have done well, I was just going to say that I haven't achieved anything yet. Here. <clears throat> I want, to, as I say, I want to win games, and the lads know that, and they want to win games. So, if we don't finish, if we finish mid-table, it'd be disappointing. We want, we want to finish as close to the playoffs as possible. Uh, Newport, obviously, it's a, it's a long trip. Um, they've played the top, the top two, haven't they, in the last two games? Nas- lost narrowly on the weekend, lost one nil as well in the other game against Mansfield and Stockport. What do you think of them? They're a top team. They beat us in the second game after I took over here to one, which we should have got something out of the game to be honest. But we know that it's going to be a really, really tough game. It's a long way to go. We're going down to here today. Obviously, we've got all day to all day tomorrow to to relax and get ready for the game. So we'll give it our best shot. But we know it's going to be a tough game because they're a top team. Just in terms of how it works now, you'll travel today. Will you train tomorrow in the morning? How, how, how does a game like this look like for you as a, as a head coach? No, what we'll do, we'll train today. We're going to do a light session on the pitch, do tactics, and and then tomorrow we'll we'll um, get off for breakfast, go for a walk, have a meeting, and then get get the lads relaxed in the afternoon, ready for the game. Get money for your old phone.